uh, hi friends this is the part 2 of the india complete covid-19 study so in the in the beginning part we draw some maps and uh, uh, using the folium library and also use some html uh, external sources also and um, plotting on the maps how different states are performing and faring and click creating the most of the important thing was creating data set now in the second part we are trying to find out that uh, uh, how the laboratory and test sites are performing so now see starting from there the 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 code sheet for the, all the parts are in one and uh, also the forecasting by different means will come in the third part and there might be a possibility that it will go in four part it's a big sheet all the codes of this all india covid 19 study will be available in the github in the single code sheet of jupiter notebook on the github repository and you can just uh, uh, go through the link given in the video you see what we did the prepare the data so out of the confirmed underscore data frame dot group by now you see what i did actually i had created a here data set like you see confirmed underscore data frame pd dot read underscore csv this is the raw dot github users contain dot com send data which is taken from the github okay now you see i had group by by the country of reason because it is the global data of all the countries i just of the country at some reset underscore and put it a df1 again death you see that here all the data are taken like confirmed df that df recovered and all those taken from the github you see i make three data set for the confirmed cases then the death cases and the recovered cases now what i say out of df1 i took country is equal to equal to india dot location all the rows of of column 1 uh, all the rows of from column 13202 till end till available because this data set is being updated every day uh, by their users uh, it's a great contribution uh, by these people so we will get the latest data so the country india i took the data of the india i just named it k k dot values it will convert into a numpy array then i put a function dot two underscore list of the zero index now you see i put india underscore confirm then similarly i took india underscore death and india underscore recovered now what i'm trying to do i'm plotting here the total you know the the by the time the confirmed cases the recovered cases and total death cases so how i did that i just took a place means a, a reason or a area like plt dot figure and make a fixed size about 15 by 20 you will change the value it will change now you see plt dot x ticks rotation is equal to 90 font size 11 that is what i took plt dot y ticks font size is equal to 10 now plt dot x level dates font size is equal to 20 this is what you see i just put 90 degree i just give you a brief like 90 degree and font size 11 so it is the font size whatever the x ticks levels being allotted and it is the rotation like 90 degree it it should have been flat but it has been 90 degree so it it is like vertical same same is the case here in the y level font size 20 just increase the value and x level dates and plt dot y level total cases now plt dot title i just give a name like total confirmed active death in india font size 20 now plt dot plot underscore date at the y axis india underscore confirm x is equal to date india label confirmed line style dash color is b that is blue similarly plt dot plot underscore date on the y axis india underscore confirm x is equal to dates india you can you can get a reference on the above portion that uh, how these values are taken like dates list of confirmed dot column 4 dates dates under square dates from 8 till n so you see i am just drawing three plots 
one for the confirm one the recovered one of the death plt dot plot underscore date is the function in matplotlib that is used to plot the dates so here we have dates on x axis and y axis i put these values of confirmed recovery you can do the same by putting the dates into a data frame it is possible there it depends on you how you do and in that case you can directly uh, plot like plt dot plot that simply it will work so now you see by the date uh, uh, 2000 uh, it is like month day and uh, oh, sorry uh, day month and year year uh, sorry year month day so it is the february and by 15th of february it is like this and then by march that all the things are zero by 15th of march the cases have started increasing in all the three ways means like uh, like uh, confirm the confirm cases before that people were not affected that much and now you see it is increasing and by, by immediately it got increased uh, by by the first of april the people who got infected and the people also started get recovering means if you see there is a difference of 15 days in over a period of 15 days people also get recovery but there is a slight increase in death the uh, about uh, some portion uh, if we get into the percentage only then we can get the real picture so you see how the how the confirmed cases and increase shoot up after the april so it is in april and in the end of month so uh, it is a it, it, we did not reach a till date it is still 20 29th of april so still we see that the number is rising there is no glitch that means it is still going to increase in the month of may so we should be very careful in the coming days because it is not going to be easy now you see these are the simple study now just make a pivot table of it there is a simple function like pd dot pivot underscore table first put the data set name then what are the values you are going to put here so values is the confirmed death and cured index state and union territory so whatever you put in the column of index that will become the index like a state union territory that will work as an index of the table now aggregated function so i am taking max like maharashtra till date so what is the max it is till date max it is confirmed cases like this 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 now you see this is the state underscore detail now in this pivot table i am adding one more column always remember that once you work on a pandas data frame the result is also a data frame so you can uh, you can work in the similar fashion adding a new column deleting a new column that you have been doing in the day pandas data frame you can be able to do it here so you see state underscore detail recovery rate I, I added a new column so it is the round of state underscore detail i took queued divided by confirmed so that is the recovery rate up to two decimal places i put it in the rand function so it is the recovery rate and death rate is the round state uh, state details i take the total uh, number of death of a state divided by confirmed cases out of confirmed cases how many death occurred so that is the death rate so again state underscore dot now i am state underscore detail or sort underscore value by confirm ascending is equal to first because i want from the beginning higher to lower only that because lower cases are not of that important state underscore detail or style that background underscore gradient cmap cmap is the color map that is red so this is how higher the value more red and smaller so you see that uh you, you see this one anomaly like tamil nadu has 18 and 21 just because of the color mapping you can map it easily like tamil nadu has 18 and 21 confirmed cases and out of that 960 are cured so the recovery rate is 0.53 that is the important thing that you have to care about here and death rate similarly the death rate is opposite of that that is very very small again delhi it is a it is a fairing uh, a, a little fair uh, much uh, small uh, fair in a very little sense to rest of the uh, states like delhi 2622 cases 869 death and 0.33 so you see that and uh, rest of the states are just doing on average and uh, maharashtra maharashtra is the very higher number of cases so higher number of recovery and higher number of death all are tandem to each other so you can see that and one more important is thing like kerala kerala in the initial 
uh, in the initial uh, portion, in the initial time of the corona, corona has performed very bad. So the cases were very high, but it maintained like 0, 3.338 are recovered. So it is like a 0.74%. So that is a very good recovery. Now, this is how you can you are created and you can see it like now again what I'm doing I'm reading the data of the state wise testing details this is the which state is doing how much testing so I just put a name like state testing so just uh, read it this is the data now it is not easy because it is uh, to read it because it is given Kerala and this and this. so I just uh, state underscore testing dot group by by state so all particular states will come dot sum sum of all the value dot sort underscore values total samples ascending is equal to false so it will be like max to lower so Kerala is the state which done maximum number of tests so that is very important because you see Kerala has done like 1,99,488 means almost 2 lakh tests and out of 2 lakh tests you see only 468 cases are positive so that is a very very great achievement and if you see Maharashtra it is it has a 1,57,882 tests so at the second number it is Maharashtra so in that condition if Maharashtra is showing higher number of affected people are confirmed cases that is not an anomaly that is a genuine case because it is testing uh, more and more so the cases are diagnosed in the same fashion and um, this is why it is 6903 positives similarly Karnataka is doing 92,661 then Delhi 75,460 and it has cases like 5,441 so it is just half of Maharashtra you see it is half of Maharashtra but the cases are very very much uh, higher in that respect and there is a very little uh, miss, a smaller gap in this uh, Maharashtra and Delhi so this is what I'm trying to say that it is a, it is it is a thing you have to consider you have to think about it means Delhi needs to do more and more tests while Rajasthan is uh, is very good performing very good Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu has tested 65,000 and they have 6200 cases Madhya Pradesh 33 test 2468 cases so all these states have to worry worry at the moment because they are not performing well and they have to increase testing if they really want to get more and more cases and and really want to diagnose and test them now I just do a plot do one what is the purpose of this uh, video is to teach you how you can use it in Python so the state underscore testing dot group by state dot sum reset underscore test so that we get uh, proper use it further testing px dot bar plot underscore expert testing that is the data set name x total sample y state orientation is h means horizontal height 200 and you know see this is how we get now if you go there you see this is the total uh, 65,000 test Rajasthan 71,000 tests Punjab 22,000 tests very low Odisha 80 and you know you see that Maharashtra 157 and Kerala 199 the same this you can hover it and you can see the values this is the beauty of Plotly and you see that now one more important thing why testings are less is there a possibility like there is a this is a lesser number of laboratories so that is a point now you see laboratory from plotly express i took the data like icmr underscore labs just a second uh, just a second so i just uh, imported the data we have the data data is given there so icmr underscore lab i took the state i took the value underscore count means distinct state and the frequency of the labs that's what it do value underscore count get the distinct uh, in a categorical data take all the distinct values and do a summary like calculate the frequency for each so if there is a lab you will get the lab now I get with a name like uh, values and now smr underscore lab I take a state dot value underscore dot index I make the state name as index that is the names now pd dot of name I list zip values and name that is the state name and that is the frequency of laboratory in each state so this is a data frame column like values and names again i do 
to for a better look i just flick is equal to px dot bar plotly express bar plot df data frame that is the same x values at the y axis name orientation horizontal and you see title as ever testing so you see the how you will see is is the beauty you go down and you will see the values the value one you see pondicherry one andaman nicobar dadar nicobar these have the one laboratories for such testing malayala malayala meghalaya tripura manipur now you see here manipur has two now jharkhand three uttarakhand three himachal pradesh three chatisgarh three and these are the a little bigger state like chatisgarh and chandi chandigarh is union territory so it is a highly urban city jammu and kashmir punjab assam punjab has five you see assam six bihar has six odisha seven so andhra pradesh you go rajasthan madhya pradesh rajasthan has nine and madhya pradesh has ten now come to take a haryana haryana has 11 it's also a part of urban most of the part is urban like kerala 12 west bengal 13 gujarat 14 uttar pradesh got 17 now you see karnataka 17 delhi 18 telangana 19 and tamil nadu 26 and maharashtra maharashtra is the most highest like 39 means it is very total to the most of the states total count that is maybe that is one of the important reason that why they are conducting more and more test and and the people are coming to exposure and once you will get exposed that uh, you are being confirmed case you will get treatment and you will be treated and you will get out a leave that is important thing and not getting treatment is very bad so this is all from the indian council from the exploratory point that what i think is nice and good so dear friend uh, that's all from the, the part 1 this is the part 2 of the uh, covid india 92 you can get the codes and data given in the videos description once again i'd like to say if you really like us please subscribe our channel we run a lot of courses everything that is possible around the world we are converted into the course we deliver at the at the uh, most uh, prominent way with the diligence so please come and visit our website deslab analytics thank you very much till then happy coding